Hello, welcome back. Richard's back in the kitchen for the final time this week. But I hear you're saying goodbye in style. Tell us what you're doing today. Um, we're going to do a Thai green curry today. Uh, I hear Richard loves it. Um, today's Friday. He's kind of going for a bacon sarni now. Richard's I don't think he's going to be having it for breakfast, <laughs> but he does love it, yes. Yeah, I'm good. So I don't worry, I'll, I'll do the cooking. You can just watch and taste. <laughs> He'll juggle. Fine. He'll juggle the chilies. <laughs> there you go. I have to say, this is the pinkest kitchen ever. I love it. My daughter will go crazy for this. Do you feel, <laughs> My street do you feel gone all manly in it? Out the window. <laughs> completely out the window. Okay, but I need so to get cooking. Go on, so, go on. Sorry, um, I'm getting What we're going to do is um, some green, Thai green curry paste. Um, you can buy it. Um, but obviously oh. you can make it yourself. Green curry, lemongrass, come on, come and coriander. Cool. And I've just got a lemongrass stick here. So I'm just, I've just chopped up somewhat just to release those lovely flavours. So stir this down. Like when making any Indian food um, or using herbs and spices, get them in early. Release oh, those flavours. That's what we're doing with this green curry paste here. And then we'll add some coconut milk. Light coconut milk, a lot healthier. Um, if I could, can I ask you to chop some? He's been in the way? circus, so this is the man oh, really? with the tricks. Don't ask me to do it. <laughs> knives? Yeah, yeah, knives? yeah, I can chop. There you go. Right, I don't need to kill anybody this morning. Perfect. I chop. You chop. I really do. But as chop. far as my cooking skills go, I'm afraid you've not, you've lucked out You're here. You're next. No, I'm going to give you something <laughs> to do. So, my coconut milk's coming to the boil, and we're waiting for the, the uh, fat of the coconut milk just to come to the top. Okay. When that's done so, as you can see, then the chicken goes in. Excellent chopping. OK, let's turn oh. some heat up here. <laughs> Thank you. It's important, though... We're taking this seriously, Richard. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you are. I'm <laughs> um, it's important, though, when you are using fresh herbs, to chop them as close to when you're going to use them as you possibly can. Because obviously that's not going to last. Get them in, get them in. <laughs> so, um, a little bit of green pepper. So, just top and tail the green pepper. We don't want the seeds. Rather than all the messing around trying to scoop, that's the easiest way to get wow. rid of it. Brilliant. You can use the end bits as well. And then just fine shreds. You're like me, you're good in appreciation, aren't you? Oh, it's so good. Like that. <laughs> the two of us are like, you're amazing. That goes in there like so. You can come again. <laughs> okay. So, there's the, um, the green pepper. Uh huh. Okay, chicken's starting to change colour now. We're going to go in with the kaffir lime leaves. These are lime leaves from the kaffir lime, funny enough, but they're all knobbly. They don't normally use the actual juice from the, uh, the limes, um, and they're, not, they're used a little bit in Thailand and Indonesia, but in this country we don't use it. That's a little bit of fish sauce going in. I'm not using any salt because the fish sauce is a little bit salty. Touch of broccoli going in as well. Rich, actually, while you're stirring that up, do you see the paper today about how packaging is just getting more and more ridiculous? You've seen this. So that's how food arrives to us. That's how much you throw away and that's how much you actually use. What do you, know do you what? think about that? Well, my thoughts are on this. I'm a true believer in Because these guys are going now. This well, is the end of this kind of stuff. I know. And for me, we can, we can do something about this. I'm a true believer in um, using farmer's markets, going to the butchers, going to the fishmongers, going to the greengrocers. If you do that, you can control the packaging. So go there, buy it. If you have ten apples in a bag, you can do that. So I think that's really important. And you can determine the quality of the product. So I think I'm, I'm a true believer So you're happy that. about that? Um, do, the, do you no, agree? I don't do want to lose the boxes too much? Now. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd kind of want to unwrap everything and leave it at the checkout. At the, yeah, uh, it does seem a bit excessive. Although I think cereal boxes are getting a hard press here because there's way worse offenders. Oh, there are, I'm sure, chocolates and things like that, aren't they? So, a little bit of lime juice. You're not listening to I am indeed. I'm <laughs> saying. A little bit of lime juice. <laughs> and then we're going to add... We're back in the game. Add the, uh, the chopped yeah, coriander, which we should kind of chop for me. I put a green chilli in there as well. How hot do you like it? You like it really hot? I think blow my head off. Why really? not? Uh, go for it. Miley? I'm a wimp, but... Right, okay. Come on. We'll go it's middle, not for me, it's We'll for go Richard. middle ground then, OK? So, just brought that back to the boil, like so. Looking really Can nice. Can you do this for breakfast? Uh, I'm certainly going to have a go. <laughs> I've got a little bit of um, jasmine rice here, which we're going to serve it with. You, you were saying earlier, you said, I'm going to serve it up. Earlier. You yeah. were saying that you're a Spooks fan earlier, oh, I love aren't Spooks. you? Absolutely love it, yeah. Um, I don't get a chance to watch much television, with uh, obviously being in the kitchens a lot, but um, one thing I always record is Spooks. Yeah, That's keep it up. Right Good answer. Absolutely. Yeah, you're a big fan. I'll say okay. your food's great now. <laughs> <laughs> so there's our jasmine rice, doing a great job. Then we're going to take I'm our a mess is what I'm Thai doing. green curry. Oh, good. Everything in there, um, I think it's really good. You know, the uh, lime leaves, because you can sort of suck Gosh, on those. Smells amazing. You can get those really nice flavours. <gasps> Just don't serve the, uh, the lemongrass. Hang on, did you put the spices in? I did, yes. Did you? Well, there was the Thai green curry paste. There's like, a lot of spices of in that. Right. <laughs> and then, well, you weren't, obviously, you weren't paying attention. <laughs> and then I was serving you were up the rice. talking, weren't you? And then lots of sauce in there. And it's so simple. I mean, that has just been cooked in real time. If, if you go with the light 
um, coconut milk. It's pretty healthy too. So it's one of those fragrant dishes which when you do come in from work, it's perfect. Touch of coriander to finish. Listen, if, if like me, you missed anything, like and the chilli's going in, we've got a recap for you. I'm just going to garnish with a little bit of red chilli. So, Marlene, keep well away from that, otherwise... Keep the oil in a wok and then cook the green curry paste and lemongrass for one minute. Add the coconut milk and cook until the oil starts to appear on top. Add the diced chicken and remain the ingredients, apart from the sugar snaps, broccoli and coriander. When the chicken changes colour, add everything else and cook for one to two minutes. Finally, add the lime juice and chopped coriander and serve with Thai jasmine rice. They're laughing at me because I'm stuck. You've thrown so many chilies in there, I'm just stuck with licking the spoon just spoon, for the actually. rice. Try spoon, try Richard, the sauce. just get in there, in. get in there and find out what it's like. It's good. Really good. Now, he said he loves your, your show, so mm. you love his no, cooking. No, be fine. honest. And the hot chili. Oh, wow, yeah, he does like chilies. Oh have a taste. Gosh. No, no, it's not I will, too do you know, I will that have a taste. Very, very nice. A little bit of the sauce, but also take a bit of rice, and that'll just mellow it down a little okay. bit. OK, OK. Water, anybody? Is That's it really fine. hot? <laughs> no, it's good. Mmm. <laughs> That's really good. I like... Did you put lime in it? Yeah, the <laughs> lime juice last minute and the cafelanas, but that makes it really, really citrusy. I'll have really to watch the recap again. And it mellows it down a little bit as well. Very it good. It really adds a nice citrus flavour. Good job. Thank well you. done. Very, very good. And remember, for the full recipe, all you have to do is log on to itv.com slash Lorraine. Oh, swallow that down now after the break. Teenage jazz prodigy Nikki Nofsky. She's won the hearts of millions of fans performing live in the studio. She'll be here in just a few minutes.